Okay. I'm going to record this, by the way, so um, Belinda can see this. Yeah, that'd be good. So you had your big wins were you finished the modules, um, except for you got to retake one one of the quizzes. The final exam. I got to retake the final exam. Were you able to implement all of those as well? Implement the the courses material? Uh, for the most part, I have to yet to do the five connections with people. No, I was talking about for the uh, the mods. You said you completed the whole the rest of the mods. Yeah, I have to go back and see if I'm missing anything. But I think so. You got there's should be an email sequence that you've set oh, up. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Like, I, I got to do that. Mod seven ten, mod seven lesson ten. Uh, is where they instruct you to set up your email follow up email sequence. Yeah, let me write that down. Module seven, lesson ten. The missed emails. Yep. And that's important because you know, uh, email email follow up. Yeah, it's a big deal. Is where a big part of your sales will end up coming from. And they have they had a form. That's, I believe, you can download or open up in Module 7.10 as well. And that, that form gives you the walkthrough of what, what your uh, email should be. What did you learn in Module 8? Google Sheets and Google uh, Calendar. And uh, it was kind of, I got to go over that again, because even though I got 80% on that, I really, it was hard to follow the guy, you know? I kind of got lost on the Google Sheets stuff. Okay. Well, uh, and... Just like just like before, so just remember, write this down and put it on sticky notes that if you implement as you're going through the courses, then you stop and you're paying more attention to the actual courses, right? Right. And so that way your your understanding of it is better because you're doing it as you're learning it. Um, so if you're just flying through the courses to get through the courses, that's not going to help you any. Yeah. You have to implement. You have to implement because then you're just stuck with having to go back through it again. Yeah. You know? Um, cause you have, you haven't implemented it and you don't, it didn't stick with you, you know, in your mind because you're just kind of flying through the courses. So, uh, module seven is definitely, something that you really want to pay attention to. I mean, all of them you want to pay attention to, but, uh, but definitely module seven is, uh, is a major player going to be a major player in, in the success of your business. And they, they, they're really fast in these videos on here. Like they might show a, you know, four minute video or five minute training video, but you literally, almost every screen that he shares you almost want to take notes on every single screen because module seven yeah i'll read i'll redo it uh because that's going to be that's on, all in about how you're setting up your email follow-up sequences and uh and then at the end of module seven is where you actually go and write your email uh sequence and then implement them within your sales funnel so, so really important. Thanks for that. You know, you know that's what Liam's going to ask on, on Wednesday. He's going to say, did you guys complete your modules? And once he, once, you know, everybody answers, then he's going to say, well, did you implement them? Because the module's no good if you don't implement it. It doesn't help you at all. If the whole course itself won't help you if you don't implement, you know? 
Good point. So just remember that. And we've got today and tomorrow to get it implemented. And it's it's really not tough as long as we just do it. If you do it as you're going through it, that that saves you time because then you don't have to go back through it, right? Right. Are there any other modules that I need to examine for implementation that comes to mind for you? Is, is that that, that should be a question you answer for yourself. You know, I mean, is there is there a module that you that you haven't implemented? It seems there like most there... of the modules there's no implementation. What? It seems like most of the modules there's no real implementation. You must be on a different course than me then. Because every every module there's something to implement. So that that's a scary thing to hear. <laughs> I'm just saying as your accountability partner, that's that's really scary to hear. So that's that's just telling me that I mean that what it sounds like to me is it's just yeah. I mean you're skipping steps. If you feel like there's been no implementation, that means you haven't been implementing, which means that that yeah, you're definitely missing some things because you're flying through the courses just to get just to say you're done with them. So that's that's and I'm just trying to speak to you straight there. Um you know, so as far as like where you left off when you stopped implementing, that's that's a question only you can answer. Um and you just need to go back through and begin as you're watching the the lessons, you know, like we talked about before, just hit pause. As soon as you get an action step, you know, hey, go do this, hit pause, go do it, and then come back and resume the the yeah. lesson. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can you I just feel bad for you because because I know that I mean there's a lot of good stuff in these lessons, but but when when you try to race ahead like this, you know, in any kind of course or curriculum, and but you don't implement along the way, it just causes frustration and overwhelm and makes you feel like you're not getting anything done because you're not getting anything done. You're not doing it, right. you know, along the way. So if you do it along the way, think of it like a staircase, you know, you're taking one little step at a time and you're implementing. So, so if you have a picture it like this, if you have a staircase in front of you, that you have this big hill you got to climb, but you know, there's gold at the top of the mountain you know, and you're, you open up your, your course or your lesson, your manual, and it says, take first step. Oh, I know, I know I got to take a first step. Then you get to the second lesson. It says, take second step, right? But if you don't move your feet, then what, what step are you on? Right. Which step it was which step would you be on? Let's let's say you did 10 lessons and that was 10 steps. What step would you be on if you never moved your feet? No, no, no steps. You'd be a step zero, right? Ground zero. Right? Yeah. So that's that's a I just want you to think about that. And I think a lot of the overwhelm that you've experienced and the frustration you've experienced is just just because. You know, just from my observation, you know, um, would be just because you haven't done the steps along the way. Whereas if you just slow down, so, you know, oftentimes people will procrastinate and not do things. And they're like, oh, oh, I got a coaching call tomorrow morning. Whoops. Um, I got a coaching call tomorrow, tomorrow morning with Liam. And I haven't got my courses done. So I better just fly through them real quick. You know? Yeah. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Can you tell me one more time? I it's on the video. I was I was going back to the video last night and then I got a call from some from uh Belinda, so I didn't want to interrupt her. But I needed to find out again what the step is to to see what that training is. For, uh, 
I, I can't even find the word for it. But you go somewhere, um, I don't know whether it's courses or, uh, or coaching what's or your, what. What's your question, though, David? What I'm trying to find the question. There, okay. there was there's instruction for going somewhere to get more instruction on something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I know. <laughs> Liam was that, going that, to, that could be any of the lessons. I mean, I don't I don't it know. Was, it, could be more it was not in them, it was not in MR1. It was like an affiliate something or other. Well, I don't know. I'm so far past the affiliate stuff. Um like well, I mean, a question about a question about a course. It's, it's where you can that. actually do do some actual marketing. And they're training you to do some marketing and you can get well, let me put it to you like this. So when you open up when you open up your courses yeah and they've got those titles down on the left hand side you know the you know where it says uh phil accelerator module one and module 1.1 1.2 1.3 and it's, right. it gives you a title next to the the number yeah it's not what, any of those what you're gonna have to do is go down through those titles and see which one that the answer to that question you're talking about. No, no, it's not in that context. It's not in MR1 at all. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking I don't know what, I mean, you have to be more specific. You remember in the last meeting, uh, I was, there was something I sh did not do that I should have done a long time ago. And Liam was surprised that I hadn't done that. Did you write it down? No. That, once again, you got to take notes. You guys, you guys, own up to it, man. You gotta, gotta, and I'm just gonna talk real here, because we we, built we've, you though. we've got to quit skipping steps, and part of the steps is taking notes, you know. Yeah. And so, if you were to take notes and Liam pointed it out to you, um, then that would have been something that you should have written down, you know. I I don't recall, like off the top of my head, without. I mean, we've got recorded calls, though, too. So you could, if you can't find it, yeah. was it last week when he mentioned that? Yeah, and I was going to go look at the video, and I got interrupted. But Yeah, and you could put the speed on, on two times the speed until you catch up to the point where you're actually talking about that. I know. I was going to do that. I was just looking for a shortcut to do that. That's all. Okay. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, David. I'm just saying, I mean, it, it, if – just think about it. If you were to hire an employee to do all this work for you and you said, okay, employee, I need you to take notes on everything. That's important. Right. I need you to do the action steps uh, along with the lessons. And, um, and I'm going to hold you accountable to it, but you're, but then you're paying them, you know, 18 bucks an hour or something, per, let's say. Right. And they don't even take notes or they don't do the action steps along the way. Would you continue to pay them? Absolutely not. Okay. So that's my point is if you're trying to create a business where you're going to be, be uh, asking for money from your clients, then you've got to do the task to build that, that system up and build that value up for for them to you know know that if to know that you'll get the job done for them whatever it is whatever product and service you come up with right seeing. right okay like i said i know i know you know this because you're a smart guy we're all smart people in here but it's every call we're talking about it so you're that's that's all you're missing that's that's the missing piece of the puzzle is just actually doing it and and doing the the even the smallest thing the smallest step which a lot of people don't see the value in this like taking notes but yeah definitely if your coach points something out and says hey you need to go do this and do this now um or bef before you can graduate to the next level or whatever then you've got to go do it and you gotta you gotta make yourself a note if you know, yeah, to make sure you do it. So that applies to all of us, you know. I'm I've failed in in ways too, 
but you but I but I I have faced with the fact that I have to own up to my own failures and do what it takes not to fail at fail at it again the next yeah. week or the next yeah. day. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah, I was just trying to find my notes. I couldn't find anything for 0809. Yeah, if, if that was last week, David, I think your your fastest route to try to find that answer is to just go back and watch last week's uh, yeah. replay. Yeah, I was doing that yesterday, but then I, I had to stop and go somewhere else. That's all. Okay. So I had already intense, already had intended to do that, what you're saying. And I thought, okay, if if I'll just ask Jeremy if he remembers, and if not, then I'll just continue on that vein. Yeah, and I may, if you were a little bit more specific, I might be able to recall, but, um, yeah. you know, that was... Generally speaking, it was a um, a course where you take, watch a video, and you do some exercises, and ultimately, at the end of that, you should be able to implement uh, the uh, training in that course to actually provide small amount of income. Oh, the affiliate the referral partner yeah that is referral partner yeah that's the referral partner training so that's right mm -hmm. under your tabs remember where that's at that's the problem i don't remember let me write you this me down. To show you yes please okay you, you you see i knew i could get it out of you referral. yeah where the the added part right there on the end where you can make some income that's the giveaway <laughs> right but when you say right. When you say there's a course and you had some courses and there's a quiz and then you got to implement, that's every single one of them. So mm -hmm. I can see where it kind of got I me did, stuck there. <laughs> I did say that there was some income before a few moments ago. And I said, I just repeat. There you go. There you go. We're going to go there right now. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so we're on the entreinstitute.com. Yep. Back office. So if you go right here to tools. Yep. Look right here. Which one of these do you think I should click on? Referral partners. Yep. So I click on that. And then you just start going through these tabs. So get you get started. That's this video here. And it gives you some resources right there. And then yep, you're familiar. And then the actual trainings is right here. Same thing. Um, compliance is a big one. You want to pay attention to that. Yeah. And then they talk about social syndication. And then the sales funnel. And then tying it all together. This is big stuff. Wow. And then once you go through that, then they'll then and you've already signed up for your referral partner. No. OK, well, it'll walk you it'll walk you through that when you go through this. OK. OK. And then once you've gone through the training, because you, you have to go through the training before they'll give you the referral links, then the referral links will be right here. So if you go success path master class. This is this is your referral link. And all you have to do is hit copy. And like if I go start a new window. Paste that in there. Right there. Okay. So so and that's people have to watch this video. And then once the video is done playing it'll give it'll pop up a place for them to enter their information to sign up okay that's the three dollar and 95 cent offer right there okay see yeah success path master class but you also have this one which is another link which is the book unlock your potential book yeah so you got they give you two different capture pages there they just look a little different. You can see them, the previews right there. All right. And then they talk about tracking pixels, you know, more stuff. So you'll want to go through, start at the top and go through, but don't just go through them. Go through them and implement them along the way. Right. 
you know they give you email swipes facebook group stuff statistics uh members and then you got your commissions tab here too so you can check out your commissions so they track it all right there so once again so you use all of this in real time as you are actually making income wait say that again you actually come back to this on an ongoing basis while you are implementing. I mean, you got to implement this too, if you want to make some income from it. Yeah, I understand. But, but you actually, you are interact, you're interacting with this as an interface continually. Or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question myself when they look at it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is, this is uh so i think i understand what you're asking it's separate from from your branding stuff you're setting up on your own right kind of yeah because you can you can start making money by by referring people to entra right away and the nice thing is is you know once once they've signed up under your link any other they have smart cookies in there that attach that client to you so, you know, if they upgrade down the road to say they've got the coaching program or whatever, then you'll still get a commission off that, even though you only signed them up once. Wow. Nice. It's really powerful. And of course, you know, there's high ticket sales in here mm -hmm. and Entra takes over. So once you refer them, matter nice. of fact, I followed up with uh, one of my sales yesterday. Uh, one of the guys that, that purchased the program, I followed up with him and he said, he said, yeah, he goes, I, I, uh, I just kind of put it to the side, but I, I want to, I want to do it, but I just, you know, life, you know, how people just kind of, they make excuses for things because it's, it's a change, but they, they still want it. And so, uh, he said, he said, yeah, I put it to the side. He goes, but I got to give it to the, the entre, you know, support team. He goes, because they, they're calling me all the time keeping me accountable and so that's really nice because you've you've got like a sales system you do have a sales system entre has a sales system so when you're referring people to them once you've got them into the system they've signed up the machine starts running entre, entre takes over right and they're they're designed to help you know guide the people that you refer towards towards their goals which you know they will they will uh, guide them towards the products and services that they offer that will help them set up and achieve their goals right mm -hmm. right but that's what's cool is once you've referred them and got them into that that sales or sales cycle they take over they do all the follow up all the all the sales and everything for you mm -hmm. and up up sales and whatnot now i particularly like to still follow up with with my the people i've referred because that still connects them to me and helps them build, uh, helps my, helps build my authority in that niche, you know, well, because absolutely. they see that I care and that I'm following up and I'm trying to, you know, help them along the way on call. You know, I do calls with them similar to what I'm doing right here, where it's just kind of an accountability call to, for themselves. Mm -hmm. just, just me and them. So a one-to-one, -one, you know, right. And then I just, I help them guide them along the path, which is basically doing and teaching the things that we're, we've already learned. So I'm just taking the little bit more knowledge that I have that I've learned through here, turning it around and just reteaching that to them because they're just starting out. So they, you know, the knowledge we have right now, having come this far and having gone through the accelerator and MR1, you know, for somebody brand new to the online business, you got a loads of stuff you could teach them. So you got plenty of, of content, you know, mm -hmm. and then teaching them some simple strategies to get started at teaching them, you know, to take notes, take notes and implement along the way, you know, and I've, I've had people that say, well, I just want to go through the entire thing so I can get this like, broad overview you know of the full spectrum of everything you know 
And, but by the time you get done going through it, you're like, oh man, that's a lot of work. Right. Yeah. And so, but it's not a lot of work if you just do it step by step and then it's, move your feet. It's like trigonometry. Yeah. You know, you, you, yeah. you cannot just watch a course on trigonometry. You have to implement it, you know? Exactly. Because implementing it, makes your mind work and it sticks in your mind more once you've implemented it. Right. I can guarantee you that I would not be able to have helped you guys uh, like I have, you know, um, and shared with you the knowledge that I have had I not implemented it along the way. If I'd have just ran through the course, sure, I might have picked some stuff up here and there because, you know, I got a decent noggin. Um, but, uh, you know, had I not implemented, then I would not be able to have shared and helped as much as I have. You know, and I do the same thing in my accountability group for the success uh, or summer of success challenge. You know, just kind of take that take that role to help people and determine yourself, hey, I'm going to jump on this call and I'm going to provide some value to folks. What better people to practice on than the ones that are going through the courses already? You know, mm -hmm. you guys can do that, too. This doesn't have to be, you know, just me. You guys, you guys have te taught each other things too, and we're doing that. Yeah, and but then so you have to get. But then you have to. But then you have to. Have our calls, Jeff. But then you have to start doing it with the people that are in your group and in your your uh, profile. You know the people that have friended friend requested you and stuff like that. Right. You need to start having those conversations with them as well so this is a this has been a safe zone in our you know realm but you've got to go put it to real world practice zone. you have to venture out of the safe zone well you got to put it to you got to put it to practice in the real world otherwise and you have to get out of your safe zone yeah because uh you're not paying me and i'm not paying you <laughs> so we're not going to make any money you know and that's the reason we're starting a business because we we want to make some money. We want to help some people along the way as well. And you can't help people unless you actually implement it. So, right. That's that. So, Jeffrey, how about you, man? How are you today? Fine. Do you have any big wins for the week? Well, last week I had a bit of coaching crawl. I had. I had to get her truck back on the road, so I worked on that. That took up a lot of time. Exhausted. I don't know how people can be like full-time mechanics for one. That could be hard work. Oh yeah, I yeah. agree with you on that. But that, I mean, that's the main truck that my wife uses for the mobile business. So instead of her using my truck all the time, I got her back on that one. So yeah. <laughs> that's good that i ever tell you i took auto body and paint uh when i was young i went th i went to a tech school for automotive i don't think you ever mentioned that part yeah i wanted to do you know paint cars like this i've, I've done a little bit you know you learn the bondo and all that little stuff but nothing crazy i yeah, mean i, I got... did auto mechanic school when i was in high school could be actually had CDC, which was Career Development Center. So you could take a good car class or whatever. And plus, you could work on your own vehicles, whatever. But then it seemed like they have, then it seemed like some of the schools even had that stuff. I'm like, that's a big, it's like most of those traits that they have in those, those schools make more money than a lot of people going to college and paying for mm. <laughs> depending i've never been a I big fan of i've never been a big fan of college i'm like 90 percent of people that go to college do nothing but waste their money and don't even do what they went for it's like i know a whole list of them it's like you pay 30 grand to go do this and you're not even doing anything in it. <laughs> so yeah, well, that's, that's similar to this though too. You know, a lot of a lot of people buy into this and then they just don't do it. 
They they yeah. they get in and then they realize there's work to be done and they they don't do the work. You and know, it's, same, of, it's the same thing. Work. You know, if people actually went out and did what they studied for in college, then they would be using it. However, yeah. you know, like when you're young, you got all these aspirations and dreams and and you're not sure what you want to do and nobody's ever talked to you about, you know, following your passion. And that's why a large majority of people go to college because they went to college, you know, maybe their their parents said, we'll, we'll pay for your college, but you got to go get a degree in law or you got to go get a doctor's degree because we want you to be a doctor. And then halfway through college, they're like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be an engineer or whatever it is my parents are making me go for, you know? And, mm -hmm. and, but they'll, maybe they'll finish their college just so they have that degree, but then they go off into something else because they weren't really passionate about it. It didn't align with them. That's why Entra teaches. That's one of the first things they teach is like figuring out your why and figuring out your passion. Because if you, you won't even make it through the courses if you're not passionate about it. You know, if you're, if you're like, well, you know, I thought I was wanting this, but I don't then you haven't figured out your passion. You haven't mapped it out. You know, you haven't defined it. And that's that's what they focus on at, in that affiliate accelerator, uh, you know, for the first several modules there is figuring out that, that why and that passion so that once you've got it figured out, then you can make, then you can build a plan based off of that and move forward with, eagerness and move forward with implementation and determination to get it done you know so that's uh i'm glad you brought that up about college because it's it's very relatable to what we're doing right now we're we're learning through this too so that's you just gotta you gotta figure out your passion and and to get it defined and nobody can do that for you but you you know I remember you saying last week that you just you weren't passionate about this anymore. Or you're feeling like you weren't passionate about this anymore. And that's maybe that's why. Is because you just haven't really defined that defined that through line for you. you yeah. Know? Would you say that's no, the case? I think that's the biggest problem? Yeah, because it's just like when I started my career, I remember like like the whole truck driving thing. I always thought like there's nothing better than you get paid to travel. I mean, okay. <laughs> so I remember when I was actually that age and you get accepted into your truck driving school because you have to have a pre hire to get in there. I was jumping for joy. Yeah. But now you get to the point where you're just like that passion just kind of because so much has changed over the years. It's just like the way people drive and it's like I used to be like, man, if it wasn't for the people, it'd be the greatest job in the world. Like I gotta deal with mother nature and go up to like the ice roads and just deal with the weather and nobody else. Yeah. But then they change down the road and it's like you're just out too much and it's just a it's a lonely job. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, in any business or in any career, you've got to deal with people. Yeah. At some point, you got to deal with people. Either you're reporting to somebody uh, or having to check in with somebody, whether that be your clients or your boss, you know, or your employees, if you have employees. So you're going to have to deal with people because yeah. people, people is where your money comes from. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, for them. But the one thing about starting a business <laughs> is that you have more control over the people that you you allow into your business. Yeah. You have more control over the types of people that that uh, you want to do business with. You know, and especially if you've defined your through line, then. You know, you're going to align your customers are going to be more like you and in more alignment with you and your through line 
which means you're going to enjoy dealing with them and working with them more than you would just anybody, any random person, you know? So, and if I, if I were in your shoes, I'd be hunkering down and getting that through line really tightly defined, you know? And, uh, that's, that's what, that's what I would do if I was you. And that way you yeah. can get that passion back. And then you just got to remember, just like I was telling David, you, you got to do the little steps along the way, you know, hey, you got, were you, were you on the call when I was talking about the staircase? Oh yeah. You talked about that a lot. Or no, no, were, were you foundation. on the, were you on, I mean, today, were you, were you, cause I know you came in a little late. Oh, not in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, I came in a couple of minutes late. I was trying to finish my breakfast. Well, I was like, telling. I was telling David <laughs> that it it for an analogy to this to give you a picture in your mind it's like you know you're standing in front of a a mountain or a hill and you got this big staircase that's right there and you know that there's gold at the top of the mountain but you have to climb that staircase to 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 reap the reward and get the gold right so, and you've got a manual, they provide you with a, a how-to manual and you open up that manual and it says, uh, take, take step one. And you're like, okay, all I got to do is take step one and you understand it, but you never move your feet. And then you're like, well, my coach says I got to take, uh, lessons two, three, and four also. So you open two and it says, take step two. And then you open three and it says, take step three. And then you open four and it says, take step four. Yet you never moved your feet. So you're still at ground zero. You're still on step zero, like physically, but you're supposed to be on step four, right? And it's yeah. because you know that you've got to take the steps to get to the top of the mountain but you haven't actually taken the steps. You haven't actually implemented the steps. Like you haven't moved your feet. So in that case, when you get to step 879, but you're still on ground zero down here, then, then how much more overwhelmed and how much more work does that seem like when you're like, man, I'm supposed to be on eight, step 879 now after all this time and I've read all the steps, each one, all 879 of steps, I've read them, read them and I've checked them off as being done, but my feet are still on ground zero. So I don't think I'll ever make it to the mountain. It doesn't look like I'm ever going to make it. This is just a pipe dream. And then you start lying to yourself and making up these things in your mind and that's where the overwhelm and the frustration comes in. And, and then you eventually get to this point where you're like, well, I'll just quit that because it's it's too much work. Yet, had you taken the step each time you open step one and it says take step one. Well, then on the next day and it says take step two. Well, if you're already on step one, then guess what? You've only got one little step to take. The next day, one little step to take. The next day, one little step to take. You see what I'm saying? So the implementation part is, is, is your key. You can have, you could have the information from the wealthiest people in the world on how to go from $0 in your bank account to $1 billion in your bank account. But if you never take the steps along the way to do it, you'll never have it. You see? So that's, then you just got to ask yourself, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to stay on ground zero or am I going to stay stuck on say step seven or step eight and then just quit there and kind of fumble back down to the ground zero again? Yeah. Or are you going to say, I'm going to start implementing the steps. And if I get stuck on something like finding out your, your through line, your why, your true passion, um, you know, that's super important. That's a major foundational 
um, block, you know? And so if you get stuck there, then seek out the help you need to get, to get that clearly defined and, and set in place before you move on, you know, cause otherwise yeah. you're going to get all these other steps and you're stuck down here on this one step and then you're going to be overwhelmed. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I hope, th I hope that's helpful to you. Just having that kind of uh picture in your mind of those steps. So anytime you face start feeling overwhelmed or whatever, just think about that staircase and ask yourself the question, well, I'm supposed to be on step eight, let's say, just for example, I'm supposed to be on step eight, but I'm on, I'm really stuck on step three. And then just ask yourself the question, am I implementing along the way? And if I get stuck on something, am I getting help? So you think of that staircase, like maybe there's glue, some really heavy resin glue on on step three and you 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 take the step from step two to three but then that glue's got your feet tied down well now you've got a you're stuck there right and you need some help or you got to figure out a solution oh maybe maybe if i just slip my feet out of my shoes and just leave my shoes stuck there i'm not gonna stay stuck there but my shoes my shoes i could get another pair of shoes it's okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and get out of my shoes or I'm going to call for help and ask somebody how I can get unstuck or if they will come help me get unstuck. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we lost David. Like overcome a problem. <laughs> yep. Well, well, I mean, some, for some stuck and it's like, you know, you're guilty of something, but then somebody tells you about it, you know, the accountability and it probably hits you a little bit harder. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. And people, sometimes people let, let the truth hurt their feelings. And when really it's not like, for instance, I'm, I'm not one to be shy and try to make you feel good. I want to help. I want to see you guys, you know, succeed just like yeah. I want to see me succeed. But I know that if I don't do these things that, that I'm preaching myself, then I'm going to be stuck, right? Yeah. So, so if I know this and I see my accountability partners slipping or slipping back down the stairs or they're getting stuck on a stair and, and, and they just haven't done anything in between, then I'm going to call it out. And if you get your feelings hurt, that's not my fault. You know, your feelings are hurt because you just haven't done what you're supposed to do when you were supposed to do it. And so now you're so far behind, you know? But that's been me. It's like, well, it seems like through this whole mastery, I think it like kicked in a lot of my own like depression and stuff because I'm so disappointed with myself mm -hmm. of what I wanted in the beginning. And it just, it really tears you up. But see, you you are one step ahead of people that don't admit it, though. The the you know the first step in in figuring out you know well why am I so far behind or why do I feel overwhelmed or why do I feel frustrated is recognizing your weakness and then acknowledging it and acknowledging it out loud and you just did all three of those, so that that in and of itself means that you're one at least one step ahead of the people that don't acknowledge it rec or recognize it, acknowledge it and, and, you know, verbalize it. So. Yeah. And that's why I'm hoping like with impact being what this Saturday, I'm really hoping that's a big, that's going to kicker for me. That's going to help you. But let me tell you something, Jeffrey, can I be honest and straightforward with you? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So sure that that's going to be a, a hoorah session for you. It's probably going to open up some things for you. That's going to be great. Maybe, maybe that's what you need to focus on when you go there is just the, the coaches or mentors that are there, just, you know, tell them, say, Hey, I'm just trying, I'm still stuck trying to find or define, trying to define 
my passion or my through line? Can you help me with this? And try to get that help and try to like set that as a goal to have your passion and your through line completely defined before you leave that 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 uh insight. Yeah. But what I want to be honest and straightforward with you with is until you actually start implementing things, you will continue to stay stuck. You will continue to stay feeling frustrated, stay feeling overwhelmed. And that which adds to your depression, you know that, right? Or builds your builds up, you know, it, it just increases depression. You know, the one of the things you can do to help get rid of that is just go back to where you're stuck and then start implementing the steps. Retake those those lessons and start implementing the steps and don't move on to the next step. You know, force you, force yeah, yourself. Don't allow I had that plan in my mind already. Yeah, and here's that here's the reason like I'm gonna need to. Here's the reason why. Because if you're feeling stuck, which is causing your frustration, which is causing your overwhelm, which is causing your depression, which is causing yet that, like you said last week, you know, you feel like you just want to quit, is because you haven't seen any results. You haven't realized any results. And the reason you haven't realized any results is because you haven't done the action steps along the way. So if you do one little action step, you go back to where you're stuck. Because obviously, if you're on step three and you're supposed to be on step, you know, 7,000, that's a lot of stuff in between. You can't expect to jump that gap. That's going to be an impossible task, right? So, yeah. so do the possible, which is the next step that, you know, do the step you're stuck on and then take the next step and then document your wins. Hey, I completed this. Like I completed it and I implemented it and man, I felt great. Even though it was just a little step, you know, or or I felt like it was a little step. To some people, that might be a big step. To you, it might be a big step, you know? Yeah. It's different for each of us. But what's not different is the human characteristics, the human psyche. When we accomplish something, even when it's a small task, that's why they say when you wake up in the morning, if you make your bed first thing, it does something in your mind because you've you've accomplished a task right off the bat there's, there's, a book, there's a book about that that was written by a military guy can't remember the name of it but it's something about I making i know what you're talking about it was it, you and and look that up there's something about making your bed or i'll try to look it up and send it to you but it's that's the whole thing is it's a psychology it's a psychological thing in your mind because if you go through the day and you're just doing mundane stuff that doesn't have any meaning attached to it. Sure, it's a task that needs to be done around the house. You know, oh, I swept the floor today, or I vacuumed today, or I changed the light bulb today. Was that an income producing activity? Was it a business building activity? Is your wife going to get mad at you that you didn't do it? And you went and did a, a, a income producing activity instead? Most likely not. You'd be like, "Hun, I wanted to get to the light bulb today, but I dedicated my time to this and I got this step done, which puts me one step closer to starting to make money online. So you probably understand, right? Yeah. Hey, I had I, a question. I don't, about... I, what? So, you know, the summer of success, it's through referral partners. But it's like, I was kind of confused about one thing on it. It's like, well, with referral partners, it's like referring Entra. Yeah. But with the summer of success and with Liam saying, you know, enter the public and all that, they would talk about last week. It's like, well, if you're putting the content out there, it's supposed to be about Entra because that's what the referral partners is. And then, you know what I mean? Well, once again, that goes back to what's your what is your niche? I have the animal niche. So you can relate that to Entra. 
you know, you can say this is it's kind of like you know, to the entrepreneur niche in a way. Well, we talked about this before on one of our accountability calls too, and that was if uh if you don't know what to say or how to relate it, just start yeah, telling just your story. That. Yeah. You just start telling your story, say, Hey, I'm a truck driver and I'm I want to uh wanted to start an online business so that then I'd have more freedom for of my time and I wouldn't have a boss hanging over my head and I don't have to deal with these crazy drivers on the road, you know, um, which I agree with because obviously I just got hit by a truck while riding my motorcycle a month or two ago, you know, <laughs> uh, and my motorcycle's got lights on it like a Christmas tree. I mean, it's lit up all over the place. Like So to not see that, somebody's just not paying attention. But anyhow, um, so what you all you got to do is start talking about your journey. Like, OK. Today. So let's rewind a little bit back. Let's go back to the affiliate accelerator, for instance. Today, I learned. To, OK, well, you get on, you say you get on a, a short video real quick and you record a video and you just say, you know, hey. Tell a little bit about your story. You know, I'm a truck driver, but I'm really just. Uh, I was really passionate about it when I started, but now I've realized that my passion is in animals um, and how they how they can, you know, affect people in a positive manner. And so I wanted to start an online business uh, based around my passion of, of love for animals. And so to do that, I bought a course. And in this course, they're teaching me step by step how to do this, you know. Um, and today, what I learned is that taking notes is very powerful in many ways. Taking notes and journaling, you know, because you're when you're taking notes, you're kind of journaling your pro your process and progress uh, at the same time. And you can go back and use your notes as as content, you know, on your sites. But that's all. See, I just told a story real quick within 30 seconds or less. You know, hey. I'm a truck driver. I wanted to start a business because I'm tired of dealing with all the frustrations of being on the road and being alone. And I love animals. And so I just really want to start an online business um, that's centered around animals, you know, and whatever that definition is for you. And so I bought a course and a coaching program to help me get started. So I've already started, but I'm learning along the way. And I figured, you know what I'll do? I'm going to just share my story my step-by-step -step story, just think of it like that, step-by-step -step story. What did you learn first? What did you learn second? What did you learn third? What did you learn fourth, fifth, you know, on down the, on down the line? And just start sharing that lesson. You know, today I learned about the importance of taking notes. And so what you're doing is you're putting that video out there and that just helps you gain authority because if you're consistent with it, and you continue doing it and implementing it and you're you're revealing what you're implementing inside your group then people are people that have a curiosity because a lot of people want time freedom and a lot of people have seen see all this money that people are making online and they want the same thing then you can say well the course i took was this as a matter of fact i've got a program uh, i've got a a course that I can send you to that I can give you 90%, 98% off of, and it's only $3 and 95 cents. You know, if you go search for it online, it's, you'll find it anywhere from $39 up to $199. Uh, but for you, because you're going through me and I'm a referral partner for Entra, then, then you'll get it for that same training for three ninety nine. dollars Yeah. I think I, myself, when I, first, I found an ad online for uh, for Jeff and uh, actually paid paid the $199 for that same exact course that, that I can now offer for $3.95. I don't know where you got that one. The one I did was $39. <laughs> well, he's got different stuff, you know. Must I mean, have been certain ads or when you did but, it. But, but see, that's why get your mind wrapped up on that. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters well, is that you get out there and start doing those steps and, and then just take that approach so that makes it really easy for you because you're just, so like, say for instance, you get, 
a module or, or a lesson done and you've taken notes and you and you look at your notes, it's kind of like your takeaways. So use your takeaways that you put on your video when you do your takeaways video, like you'll do after this call, you guys do your takeaways video uh, inside the group. And, uh, and then you take one of those topics, just take one topic of a takeaway, like what you're learning right now, and turn around and go live inside your group and, and reteach it. And that helps solidify it in your mind for you. So it's, it's helping you. Um, but then at the same time, it's also putting out good content. And then you're also, uh, that's helping build your authority online because people will start seeing that, Hey, Jeff is, Jeff is putting this information out there. Like he's really serious about it, you know, and people want to do business with people that they know like and trust right yeah. no like and trust and so how do the people get to know you that don't know you by seeing your stuff consistently new stuff you know every single day or every single week if you and i so i know some say well just post something once or twice a week i i say post something every single day and that's what that summer success challenges is is to get people in the habit of posting a short form video every single day. That's really the the whole baseline of that whole challenge. You know? So if you post something every single day, people start seeing your content. It doesn't have to all be about business. It can be fun stuff, funny stuff, inspirational stuff, motivational stuff, encouraging stuff. Uh, or, hey, uh, look at my grass. I just cut my grass in a new, pa new pattern. You, how do you like my zigzag pattern? You know, or how do you like my stripe pattern? Or, you know, whatever. You, I mean, it could be about anything, but just make sure it's authentic and about you. But, yeah. then, but then some of your stuff you need to, uh, which that referral partner program training will walk you through is, is to have some content out there that's has a purpose. And that purpose is to guide people into that sales funnel so that you can start making sales and having a client base. Okay. Is that something that sound like you can do? Yeah. All right. Uh, the and the the way to start is just to start. <laughs> start today. <laughs> I know you hear that all the time. <laughs> just yeah. start. Yeah. I mean, if you push start on your vehicle, but it doesn't start, then you ain't going nowhere, right? Uh -huh. You get, so change your battery, put a new battery in yourself, and hit start. And then put that put that vehicle in drive and, and start doing some of that. Okay. That I hope that helps you out. But I mentioned I mentioned well, I went through the module six and seven, you know, because Liam wanted me to go through it. Like six is kind of like gibberish for me because I can't do any of that. And you know why? It's all that I can't implement when you don't have to add campaign thing going anymore so then I went through seven it's kind of like David kind of have to go through that again because a lot of it's not clear yet so I was just trying to get through that and, and re morning. remember remember the way you get clear is start implementing each step along the way because once again, as far as like getting confused, if you're stuck on step three, for instance, and you're supposed to be on 29, you know, just saying, for example's sake, if you're trying to understand all this in between, but you still don't understand step three, you're not going to understand any of this. And it's just going to mm -hmm. add to that overwhelm. So you got to get those steps done. You got to, yeah. And that's going to, every time you get a step done, you're just going to make you feel better. And you're going to have this uh, more joy because, hey, I did it. I completed it. And, you know, our minds are geared that when we complete something, we we feel rewarded, whether we've been physically re rewarded with a trophy or, or not. You know, inside, we know we, we had a small win. That's why Liam asked for your small wins. He's not talking about mowing your grass or cutting your trees or, you know, trimming your bushes or anything like that. No, he's talking about your business wins. What are your, what, and your, your course wins your Facebook group wins, you know? So if you have those kind of wins, like a win could be for you today. Hey, I completed my takeaways video inside the group 
And then I also went inside my own Facebook group with the animal for your animals and, and posted a, what for a little tidbit about what I learned today and about my journey, you know? So that's a win because you haven't, you haven't really done that. Right. Not consistently. So, and then, so your, your win could be, Hey, I started on Monday and then I did another one on Tuesday. And then before our coaching call even happened on, on Wednesday, I did another one. So my big win, Liam, is that I did three videos in my own group where I taught just a little bit of what I've learned from mantra and shared a little bit about my story. And that could even be uh, footage from when you're at your truck or in your truck, when you're pulled over the side of the road or something, you know, you could make some really good content as a trucker. Cause you get to see some cool stuff. Put a put a camera in the window and record stuff, and you can take it and splice it up how you want it. But I mean, you you got a great story to tell, and you've got a great following. Uh, people love animals; they're instantly drawn to that. So you have like an instant magnet already that you could be utilizing. So that's something you could do. And then another thing you could do is just go inside your group and just start at the top and start sending sending them messages direct messages you know through messenger just say hey you know i just wanted to thank you for being in my group um you know wanted to wanted to uh just ask you a quick question what what is it that you like about animals that draw that drew you to my group you know and start figuring out your audience and why they're in there and then you can create content based around what their what their desires to get out of your group is you know so what well, we're past the hour so i've got to get out of here um but was that helpful to you at all yeah awesome awesome i guess we lost david <laughs> i don't know it's not muted or anything he's still on there yeah he's there high <laughs> doing other things behind the scenes listening he's one of those those that that uh, sits in the back row in class and <laughs> has his book up while he's playing with his video games or whatever i'm just teasing you david all right well i gotta run guys so i hope that was helpful to both of you and uh and and please you know go inside the group leave your takeaways uh the, our coaching group with liam leave your takeaways from today's call because he's expecting to see those and uh and then go inside your groups and just uh if you do those if you just get in the habit of once you get off of this call and once you get off the call with Liam, do your takeaways videos first, right off the bat while it's fresh in your mind. And then immediately while it's still fresh in your mind, go do another live video inside of your um, Facebook group, you know, or even on your profile or whatever, but somewhere on one of your social medias and just leave a quick little video or a reel, you know, of, Hey, this is what I learned today, which could be one of the takeaways that you talked about. This is what I learned today, and uh, and I'm going to apply it to my my new online business. You know, just all you got to do, just just that, and then just start doing that every single day. Learn something new from the courses. Turn around, go inside your group and teach it. If you're struggling with trying to figure out how to how to make do do this or it, start implementing this to where you can start making some money that is a a key element right there okay all right all right well you guys have a great day and uh look forward to hearing some good things on wednesday all right <laughs> yeah i have that problem sometimes too jeffrey those gnats. Well, they're they're a lot worse on the east with the humidity and stuff. You get those little little brown flies or those gnats or the down fruit. here they have those. I don't know if you ever heard of them. They're called noceums. Yeah. They're very small bugs and they oh, bite yeah. you. And, you yeah, know. they've got them here where I'm at in North Carolina too. Jeffrey, where do you live? Hmm. What state do you live in? I'm in Florida. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. It definitely is. That humidity's creeped its way up here too. So 
Well, right, just gentlemen, but I do have to go. 90 plus degrees, then you add that humidity, it feels like 100, some, whatever, but yeah. Yep. Guys, I have to go. So uh hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Yep. Yeah, good one. All right. Yeah. See you later.